Hi YouTube, this is Shell with Shelby's Knickknacks here bringing you another crochet tutorial. Today I'll be continuing on with my letter bobble stitch series and today we'll be bobble stitching the letter E. So stay with me and I'll show you how to complete that. First let's start with the materials. We'll need a six millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle, scissors, and a size four worsted weight yarn, color of your choice. In this video, I'm using the color Orchid, Red Heart Super Saver. In order to get started with this tutorial, you can refer to one of my previous videos and I'll put the link down below in order to start off your first three rows. And I will meet you back at the start of the fourth row so we can start the bobble stitch. I've just started out with my first three rows. I've already chained one and turned my work. And for reference, we'll be starting with the fourth row and we'll be single crocheting in the first five, bobble stitching the sixth, single crochet in between, bobble stitch in the eighth, single crochet, bobble stitch in the tenth, single crochet, bobble stitch in the twelfth, and then we'll single crochet in those last five stitches. So we're going to do our five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and we're going to bobble stitch into the six single crochet space. Pull through the first two only, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two loops only, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two loops only, you have four in your hook, you need five, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. We have five, now we yarn over and pull through all five loops. And if that was a little too quick for you, you can always pause the video and go back to the previous videos that I've done before. We single crochet, and now we're gonna bobble stitch into that eighth single crochet space. Just keep yarning over and pulling through the first two loops only until you have five on that hook. And if I'm going too quickly, just pause the video until you're able to catch up. Single crochet into the next space. Bobble stitch in the 10th space. Yarn over and pull through all five loops. And now we're going to single crochet into that next space and bobble stitch in the 12th space. Five, yarn over and pull through all five. Now we've done our four bobble stitches of that row and now we're gonna single crochet into those last five. You're gonna chain one, turn your work, single crochet all the way across row five, making sure you end with 17 stitches. Chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row six. Okay, this is what my work looks like so far. I've already chained one and turned my work and we're gonna start with our reference. Now in row six, we're gonna single crochet in the first five, bobble stitch in the six, and single crochet in those last 11 stitches. And just remember this chain one does not count as a stitch, so you don't wanna single crochet into there, just in the spaces. So we're gonna do our first five, one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're gonna bobble stitch into that sixth space. 
yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, and pull through the first two only. And just keep repeating that until you have five on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through all five. And now for the continuation of this row on row six, we're going to single crochet in those last 11. When you get to the end, chain one, turn your work. And on row seven, single crochet all the way across. Chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row eight. This is what my work looks like so far. And for reference, we're going to start on this row. On row eight, we're going to do our first five single crochet. We're going to bobble stitch in the sixth stitch, and then we're going to single crochet in the last 11. So one. Messed up there. Supposed to be a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to do a bobble stitch in the sixth stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert. Yarn over and pull up, yarn over and pull through the first two only. Keep repeating that until you have five on your hook. And if I'm going a little too quickly, you can just pause the video and catch up with me. Okay. Pull through the first two, we have five. Pull through all five loops. And now we're going to single crochet in those last 11. Chain one, turn your work. And you're going to single crochet across all the way across row nine. And making sure you have 17 stitches chain one turn your work and i'll meet you back at row 10. this is what my work looks like so far and we're about to start on row 10. we're going to do our first five single crochet bobble stitch in the six single crochet in between bobble stitch in the eighth single crochet bobble stitch in the tenth and then we're going to single crochet in those last seven stitches One, two, three, four, five, and we're about to bobble stitch into that sixth stitch and or space. Yarn over and pull through all five, single crochet into the next space, bobble stitch into the eighth space, yarn over and pull through all five loops, grab some more yarn. Single crochet into the next space. Now we're going to bobble stitch into that tenth space. One more time. Yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. Okay, and at this point, we're going to single crochet in those last seven. Chain one, turn your work. Single crochet all the way across row 11, making sure you have 17 stitches. And then yarn, excuse me, chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row 12. This is what my work looks like so far. I've already chained one and turned my work. And we're going to be starting on row 12. We're going to single crochet in the first five, bobble stitch in the sixth and then single crochet in those last 11 stitches. One. Two. 
two, three, four, five, and now we're going to bobble stitch into that sixth stitch. Okay, now we yarn over and pull through all five. And now we're gonna single crochet into those last 11 stitches. Chain one, turn your work. Single crochet all the way across row 13, making sure you end up with 17 stitches. Chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row 14. This is what my work looks like so far. I've already chained one and turned. And we're gonna start on this row. On row 14, we're gonna single crochet into the first five, bobble stitch in the sixth, and single crochet in the last 11. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to bobble stitch into that sixth space. One more time. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. And now we're going to single crochet into those last 11 stitches. Chain one, turn your work. Single crochet across row 15. Chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row 16, that final bobble stitch row. This is my work so far. I've already chained one and turned. And we're gonna now be doing row 16. We're gonna single crochet in the first five, bobble stitch in the sixth, single crochet in between, bobble stitch in the eighth, single crochet in between, bobble stitch in the tenth, single crochet in between, bobble stitch in that twelfth, and then we're gonna single crochet in those last five stitches to finish off that bobble stitch row. So let's get started on that. One, two, two, three, four, five. Bobble stitch into the sixth. Almost there. One more time. Now we single crochet in between. Bobble stitch into the eight. Hmm, messed up. Start yarn over. Pull through the first two loops. Keep going until we have five. Now I yarn over and I'll pull through all five. Single crochet in between. Bobble stitch into the tenth space. One more time. loops, single crochet in between, bobble stitch into that 12th space. pull through all five and now we're going to single crochet into those last five stitches chain one turn your work and we're going to single excuse me single crochet across 
rows 17, 18, and 19, and I'll meet you back at the end of row 19. Okay, I'm at the end of row 19. I'm gonna do my last single crochet. If I can get it in there. Okay. And at this point, we're gonna chain one. And like I've showed in previous videos, you're gonna cut the yarn to your desired length and pull it through to seal it off. And I'll make sure to put that down in the description box below in order to finish this project and to weave in the ends. But that is literally it, the letter E. Well, that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you were able to complete the project and hopefully it turned out just as nice as this one. Hopefully you can see that. Well, in the meantime, I'm Shell with Shelby's Knickknacks, and I'll be seeing you next time.